Welcome to Fabricadabra's Embroidery Edition. Today, we'll be working the stem stitch. We're going to begin our stitch, uh, and we're going to stitch from left to right along this curved line. Come up from the back and pull your floss through until the knot hits the back of the fabric. And then you're going to go over one stitch length, however long you want your stitch. And then you're going to pull the needle and the floss through until you've got a loop. And this is so that you can see where you're going to put your needle up from the back. And that's about at the halfway point between the end of the first stitch and the beginning of the next stitch. You'll notice that I'm keeping my loop on the bottom and pulling my thread up through the top. And then I pulled it through and I'm going to start on my next stitch. And this is going to go a little bit faster because it's a pretty easy stitch. So again, you'll notice that I've kept my loop on the bottom. And I'm coming up through the top. And don't forget the midway point between the end of the previous stitch and the beginning of the next stitch. That's where you want to pull your needle up through. And I'm just going to keep going that way. Now I, I keep, I have mentioned several times that I have been keeping my loop at the bottom and my thread coming up through the top. Um, and that's one way of doing it. The other way is to, all, um, to do that the alternative way, which would be to have your loop at the top, which is what I'm doing here, and your thread, your floss, coming out through the bottom, so underneath that loop. Okay, and that changes the way the stitch looks. When you do this stem stitch, you do want to keep it um, the same. So whichever way you decide doesn't really matter whether you keep the loop at the top or the loop at the bottom, but you want to keep it consistent throughout your stitching. Otherwise, it's going to look messy. Here is our finished stem stitch along a curved line. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.